Well, it's the big headline in the nation's top newspapers this morning. President Trump granting clemency to some big names. So this is the full list from the White House statement. There are 11 on here, but these are the big three people are talking about. You have Wall Street financier Michael Milken, former New York City Police Commissioner Bernard Carrick, and the former governor of Illinois, Rod Blagojevich. You had a lot of both sides shouting, one side saying this is the worst thing ever, or the other side saying this is great. It did spark an interesting discussion, though, that started with a tweet from an MSNBC analyst basically calling the group undeserving. Well, Glenn Greenwald from The Intercept responded, saying this is what presidents do. People question clemency grant granted by Presidents Obama, George W. Bush, Bill Clinton, as well as Bush Sr. So in our live survey this morning, we're asking if you agree with President Trump's pardons and commutations. You can weigh in on khu.com slash vote now or by using our mobile app. The move means Blagojevich went from prison Tuesday morning to back home overnight. This is video of him arriving at O'Hare early this morning. Now, a jury convicted him on 18 counts related to corruption. He was six years into a 14-year federal prison sentence. I think the appropriate thing to say is that I speak for Patty, for my daughters Amy and Annie, and for me when I express our most profound and everlasting gratitude to President Trump for, for doing what he did. He, he didn't have to do this. Carrick, the former police commissioner, also expressed his gratitude on Twitter, saying in part, with the exception of the birth of my children, today is one of the greatest days in my life. Remember, you can still weigh in on our live survey at khou.com. While you vote, we want to turn it over to Erica for the one thing you need to know.